Hey guys, it's your boy Troy Plus. Today I'm going to be showing you how to anchor a site Mirage. Let's go. First of all, it's important to recognize what your team is actually doing in any given round. Now, this could be a multitude of different things, but to keep it simple, let's just define it as your mid, your team is fighting for mid or your team is playing a normal default. First of all, let's just talk about a normal default. So by a normal default, we mean one towards B, uh, anchoring the site, one towards short, one towards window, getting information on mid, one connector early, but maybe he moves towards stairs, and then it's you on towards the A site. In this scenario where we're playing a normal default, there's a couple of things that you need to know. Now, the first thing that you need to know is the utility that you're gonna need to be using towards A site. Um, as the A anchor player, it's usually your responsibility to be mollying off A main like this. And the reason you wanna be mollying it off like this, where you aim at the top of the building here and bounce it off this wall while running, is because when you do a molly like this, it actually blocks the vision of this Orpa who might be looking in for this stairs peak. So it actually gives your player crossing to con a lot of safety and is pretty much essential to be throwing this molly every single time. Now, the reason you wanna be throwing this molly um, combined with this flash is that when you're playing a normal default, you can actually play a little bit aggressive here towards A main. And this molly is going to be blocking off a lot of vision. So if I just throw this down here, um, you can see it's actually pretty hard to see behind this. And when you're looking down like this, it's actually a lot easier for you. Plus you can see on the radar where these players can be. Now, once you have this control here, you can spot for any feet up on towards this ledge clear out the close angles and you can play inside a main. I actually think this is pretty decent, but normally I like to do uh, a little bit of a jiggle here. Once I spot a player, I smoke off the a main position. This is gonna buy you a lot of time and off this smoke, it's pretty good to actually move towards sandwich. A lot of teams aren't really gonna clear sandwich. So it's basically a spot that's gonna guarantee you at least one, maybe two frags, right? Um, the other situation that you wanna smoke a main is if you hear a lot of utility being thrown from a main. So maybe you hear pins being pulled up here so someone pulls a jungle um, smoke pin and that's kind of how you want to be playing if you're playing close a main now you can also play from default i actually really like default as a position when you're anchoring a normally if you have a connector player they're going to be kind of responsible for spotting in towards your palace position here so you should be focusing in towards this a main position i like to be just jiggling this position here and you want to be kind of keeping your smoke in this scenario if you see someone lurking out it's usually a pretty free kill. If you look at the type of angle that they're looking at once they come out here, it's probably around here, right? And you're jiggling this line right here um, and should be able to find the headshot. If an AX that comes your way, so say they do stairs smoke, jungle smoke, maybe even CT as well, it's pretty important that you should drop your smoke. Um, I like to drop it around here in front of default because it leaves me a little bit of a one way in towards palace and I can kind of jiggle in towards the sandwich area here. Your main goal when you're the A anchor player is to just stay alive. It's really important that you allow your team to rotate in and provide you support. So maybe they flash over behind you here. When they're executing A, you can drop down the smoke, hold towards palace. If you wanna get a little bit cheeky, you can jump up on towards this box here. Um, you can spot towards Tetris here. And this is a pretty good way to play towards default. You can also play under Belk. Usually this is a little bit more risky because especially if you don't have a smoke because a lot of teams are gonna just molly this. Um, what you can do is extinguish the molly. I like to do it around here. So I give myself a little bit more space to move around. Once you've done this, again, you're just trying to stay alive. So let's talk about the other scenario when your team is actually fighting mid, maybe they're pushing up here. If your team is playing towards mid, it's important to think about what is the other team gonna do in this scenario? They're gonna be focusing heavy on towards taking a site. So this could be a site, it could be B apps. So if they're gonna be focusing your extremity, you don't wanna be giving up the kill here too easily. Now you can do your normal molly. Maybe you do a flash just like this, but once this molly has kind of faded, you kind of wanna jump spot the CT position. I like to jump spot it like this, where I come out looking at Palace with my uh, M4 here. And if they start throwing utility, it's important to just stay alive. You don't wanna die in this scenario. When your team is focusing in towards mid, help isn't gonna be coming your way anytime soon. Let's say you're playing retake A, so you're playing ticket booth here, and the other team is choosing to execute A, you see a bunch of smokes go over. You can have a couple of reactions here, so you can actually smoke off like this. This gives you the option to kind of lurk out, um, but the other option is just to smoke yourself off. Now, 
If they don't smoke off CT here, it probably means they're going to be focusing on killing you, right? Usually you want to be throwing the smoke. I aim in this tiny gap here and just left click throw the smoke. You can kind of chill. You can also jump on top here and you can see towards palace and you can see towards default as well. So let's say they smoke CT. Something you can do is if you want to get a little bit cheeky with it, you can throw this one way smoke. So you have to crouch in this corner here, aim at the top of the ticket booth, underhand throw the smoke and looking at your radar, you can jump up on top of the ticket booth here. Now this is, I find a little bit risky, but it can be nice every now and again you pull it out and it gives you a one way towards this A main position. However, the pass player, if he swings out, he can see you pretty clearly. So that's something to be aware of. The most important points that I want to highlight here is that you keep yourself alive a lot of the time. You don't want to be dying unnecessarily. Your team is going to be able to support you more if you stay alive for longer on the site here. So that's how to anchor a site Mirage. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe, like the video and comment what you want to see next. I can cover a lot of different topics here and thanks for watching. Peace.